Welcome to Dr. Judy Morgan's Naturally Healthy Pets, where world-renowned author, speaker, and holistic veterinarian Dr. Judy Morgan answers your questions and offers healthy options for raising your pets in a more holistic manner. Not sure which vaccinations should be given or how often? Not sure what to use for flea, tick, and heartworm prevention? Join Dr. Judy now as she interviews the top experts and showcases the latest products that will help your pets stay naturally healthy. Hello and welcome to Dr. Judy Morgan's Naturally Healthy Pets. I'm your host, Dr. Judy. You can hear my show on every Monday and Tuesday at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern on DreamVision7Radio.com. After the shows go live, they are archived about two weeks later. So if you've missed something in the past, just go to the Naturally Healthy Pets page on DreamVision7 Radio and look for your favorite shows. So today, my guest is an entrepreneur that has started a group that is amazing, and she is making great strides, opening new doors, and bringing people together, frankly, I think all over the world. So Teresa Piasta lives, lucky her, we were just talking about this, in San Francisco, California. My, my dream is to live on the West Coast. I absolutely love California. I know it has its problems too, just like New Jersey, but I like California. So Teresa has started something called Puppy Mama. Puppy Mama is leveraging technology to d- deliver community and convenience to dog moms around the world so that they can live in a more connected and joyful dog friendly world. And so they're a community that's advocating for more dog friendly venues and events and the healing power of canine therapy. And she's got some great videos advertising and talking about what Puppy Mama does. Teresa, thanks a lot for coming on the show today. Thank you so much for having me. It's, I'm so excited to um, you know, be on the show with you and connect with your audience. <laughs> Thanks. So I was just I'm sitting here looking at your bio and so I knew that you had been a vice president of JP Morgan. So, you know, that what that tells us is you're smart and, you know, you're you're energetic and you understand the corporate world. But you were also an army captain in a field artillery brigade. What? <laughs> Yes, um, and actually, my uh, my journey as a dog mom all stemmed from my necessity of needing to find healing. So I can talk about that. However, um, yeah, I've had multiple careers, but uh, it's all in a myriad of overall professions. Um, however, you know, going from the military to Wall Street and the financial crisis, you know, it takes toll on it took a toll on my health. So uh, finding my Cavapoo Angel Waffles three and a half years ago, is, it not only has she changed my life, helped me heal, but she also inspired Puppy Mama in a variety of ways. So I'm very passionate um, about this community and what we're doing, and I'm also a very passionate dog mom as well because uh, Waffles has helped me so much, and I believe that dogs have the capacity to heal a variety of um, of situations and illnesses, especially um, would love to get more dogs um, in the hands of our military veterans struggling in a variety of ways. So um, that is a little bit more about my background, but um, yeah, it was a, definitely the road less traveled by to go from the military to Wall Street to um, now starting an entrepreneurial journey about um, the impact of canine love and therapy. Which is pretty amazing. So, um, d- so I know that Waffles has helped you overcome depression and, and, and you know kind of come back to, to life after spending time in Iraq. And I think anybody who has spent time over in an overseas deployment probably needs to come back and spend a lot of time with dogs and, and whatever therapy animals that they can. Um, but is Waffles also a, a therapy dog outside of your being your therapy dog, or you know, do you do you use Waffles that's as a, a therapy dog for others? That's a great question. And um, to date, you know, Waffles has been my service dog. Um, I um, three and a half years ago, my journey started is because I was behind. You know, it, at work I was doing really well, um, but I was suffering. And um, my doctors behind the scenes um, were 
really, really encouraging me um, to, you know, focus on health and healing. I needed it so much. And I tried everything. And I um, then, you know, discovered that I was having a fluffy, adorable little um, bundle of happiness and joy um, could be something that would be additive because there's no cure for PTSD at this point. Everything is a trial and error, what could work for an individual. And so three and a half years ago, fortunately, my husband, who's been so supportive, he said yes, and um, we got to pick waffles up three and a half years ago, and she's been so incredibly helpful to me. But what was so shocking and why I'm so passionate about canine therapy and helping more veterans especially um, have uh, a fluffy or furry companion in their life is because I got tremendous benefits of being able to socialize with a new positive community group. Um, Waffles, every time I walked outside of my apartment, if um, my symptoms of PTSD wanted me, um, because I was in so much pain, wanted me to stay inside, she not only got me on a schedule to ensure that I went outside, but I was connecting with people in a very positive way. And that's what inspired me. So she technically today... We haven't um, you know, brought her to be a therapy dog for others, but she has just been that this whole entire time. Um, and this little bundle of happiness wherever we go, she is helping me be the person who I am by bringing joy and love to others and helping others um, put a smile on their face. And smiles are contagious. And I, when she was a little pup, six months, um, for six months of life, just, you know, we've lived right next to, um, in San Francisco, this huge, um, you know, operation um, called the Delancey operation, uh, Delancey Street, and there are a lot of um, men needing healing coming from uh, the prisons, um, and I, I'm not as familiar with uh, that background, how they got there, but they would just melt in front of waffles, and I'm like, this is so... <laughs> special how, you know, this little pup is not only bringing healing to me, but healing to other people. And that's where I started focusing on a lot. And I ended up uh, many months uh, later leaving um, Wall Street to focus on my health uh, full time for a bit before I started the Stanford Business School Entrepreneurial Program that summer. Interesting. And, you know, having met you in person, I would never have guessed that you had gone through all of this, that you deal with this on a daily basis, because you're one of the most upbeat, happy, like just outgoing, friendly people. You know, and I'm thinking, oh, boy, she, she is just like this perfect, she's got the perfect life, she's all happy. And you know, that's, that's one of those things that I think many of us don't know well, none of us know what goes on behind the scenes for someone else. Someone else who may yeah. appear to have everything together, like their life is just perfect, and we're sitting there thinking, well, I've got all these problems with my life. You know, how come her life is so perfect? But we don't know. We don't know what is going on behind that curtain. We so. don't know, and that's um, where a lot of, uh, you know, Puppy Mama is inspired from is because, Um, Unfortunately, in the veteran community, PTSD, um, we're not getting, I believe, the right help to combat that. And the news, what's happening now about veterans at the VA and the suicide rates, it's just so sad that um, I learned very quickly within the VA that when I first had waffles, I would give them feedback about my relationship with her. And I learned very quickly that they had very limited information how dogs are helping um, veterans heal, let alone women veterans Mm -hmm. heal. Um, So I started, you know, and when I had uh, such a story to share, um, you know, I had a mix of uh, mixed reactions on the other side. So I first shared my story about how waffles helped me heal, trying to get other so, uh, people um, excited to share their story as well. A couple years ago on Veterans Day, since then, I'm so proud of the Puppy Mama community. We have had over a thousand stories submitted how dogs are helping inspire and healing women around the world. Hundreds of those stories have been about 
um, something linked with their emotions. The dogs are helping them emotionally. And so a huge aspect of Puppy Mama is the fact that these dogs have such capacities to help us in our day-to-day -day lives, but also help us heal. And when we uh, were releasing our first book, um, Raising a Doodle, in October, a whole chapter in there is to share some of these stories of these women. And it's a lot of times it's the first time that they've ever shared such personal things before. So the mm -hmm. impact Puppy Mom is having on not just the overall dog community, but the lives of these individual women. There have been women who have shared how their depression from infertility and how they got um, a pop in their life, now they're connecting with other women around the world who have shared similarly. It's turning into a badge of honor as opposed to hide behind closed doors. And Puppy Mom is that platform where they're able to share in a very supportive environment and um, be part of something this special. So there's this hand, you know, overall canines are inspiring us to be better people. Um, and can helping us connect with each other in a positive way. But also there are some people who are going on healing journeys where a dog can be so helpful to them, and we're spreading the word that that's possible. Well, you know, I, years ago um, when I was single after uh, a divorce, um, you know, I didn't know how to meet people. How do you meet people when you're, you know, 45 years old and you don't want to go hang out in bars and you're not in college, how do you meet people? And, you know, I used to look at the online dating sites and you look at it and you go, well, how do you meet people? Well, you have a dog. If you go for a walk with a dog, people will automatically like you. They'll automatically come up and talk to you. And so uh, my husband and I actually met online. And one of the things I loved about his profile was his puppy. <laughs> So he had this mass, well, the oh, mass of puppies. <laughs> and so, and, you know, he's an architect, but his uh, tagline was Alpha Dog. I think that's was that what it was, Alpha Dog. And uh, he had this gigantic puppy. You know, he was like two months old and already weighed 50 pounds. He was a giant mass. So cute dog, totally untrained. He said, why would I train it? It's two bachelors living together. <laughs> So, you know, when I got one, I got them both, and I said, boy, you both need some training. But, uh, you know, dogs do bring people together, and dogs do help. You know, when I have a bad day at the office, all I want to do is go snuggle a dog. And, you know, cat, cats are wonderful, too. I have one snuggly cat. I have four cats, but one is particularly snuggly, and so I really like yeah. sleeping with that cat on me. Uh, but the dogs, you come in the door... So that, yesterday I had a rough day at the office and I came in the door and there's six smiling, wagging butts looking out the window as I pull in the driveway. And, you know, they know it's me coming. And as soon as I pull in and they see my car, they start barking and they jump up and down. And when I open that door, I'm literally pounced on by six little wiggly, waggly butts. And it's really hard Aww. to be angry and cranky. At that point, you know, it's like, all right, I'm just going to drop down to my knees and snuggle all six of you for a couple of minutes. And, okay, now, you know, now I can shed some of that yuck of the day. And, it, I, you know, I, so it's, and that within itself, you know, I have a very unique education. Um, and when it comes to learning empathy with people at different points in their lives and dealing with different things, so it, my own healing journey has helped me put myself in positions of when women are sharing um, certain things. I'm like, I can see why they're saying that. Or, um, you know, someone who may think that they're healthy, but they had a really stressful day at work and they come home, um, that dog is helping them be in the present and forget, you know, their worries, their future, et cetera. And they're able to put you in that moment and force you to be in that moment with them and laugh. There's so much benefit that I hope that um, research continues to focus on regarding just what you're talking about because it's amazing. I watch people have that reaction um, you know, with a snuggly, happy pup. It's, it's the, the oxytocin release you, you, know, you get from it and um, other health healing benefits just on a day-to-day -day health management is amazing. Absolutely true. And, you know, you're, you're right in that dogs totally live in the moment. I mean, literally, you can kick a dog today and 20 minutes later, he's like, so what are we doing? I mean, the, you know, they're, they're forgiving, they're loving. All they want is to please, to be part of the pack. And, 
you know, to, to show love. That's, that's, that's their job. Uh,